from your perspective, what is it about Bleed Me, which is the next record, but why does that stand out for you on a personal level? Besides that Bobby, it kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when we were writing it, you know, I didn't expect that song to end up the way it ended up. Let's just put it that way. I kind of, I guess I had a different perception of how the song was going to go at the time while we were writing it, but it kind of just, like I said, it just kind of, it just kind of happened. And when I heard the song, because I mean, from playing the song and listening to the song, it's two completely different things. Because you can't really concentrate on listening to it while you're playing it sometimes. When I actually sat back and we were recording it like on just a little jam box thing, and I was listening to the rehearsal tapes of it, and at that time, when we were writing it, Dax was writing the lyrics and the vocal parts as we were getting the song together, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of like... All right, we have a song and the singer comes in and does his thing over it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where when we were writing that song, he was there and he was kind of giving his guidance of like, well, I want to do this, extend this part, play this part again, and, you know, so on and so forth. So when I actually sat back, because while we were... While we were playing it and rehearsing it and trying to get it together, I was kind of like I wasn't on I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about it, you know. Then I actually sat back and listened to like the rehearsal version of it that we had that we were pretty close to being done, and I was like, this this is like a completely different level from where we were before. I mean, and that was my reaction to the first time that I heard that song when it was like finished in the rehearsal room.